Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching Firefly episode 13, Heart of Gold. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you are new. Today, we are jumping back into Firefly again for episode 13 and that's crazy because after this one, we only have one more episode and it's definitely a little bittersweet. I'm anxious to see how everything ends, but I know that this season was cut tragically short, so I definitely feel the sadness that I think a lot of you guys feel for this series. I've really enjoyed this ride so far. I've really enjoyed this world. I love the characters. The more and more I get to see them interact, the more and more I get to hear their backstories and see their senses of humor. I just really, really enjoy these characters and I'm sad that it's all gonna be coming to an end relatively soon. In the last episode, we got a bit more of a somber series of events where uh, Mal and Zoe thought their friend from the military had died, turns out he hadn't and had brought them a lot of trouble, but then by the end of the series, he did die. <laughs> so uh, that was an interesting turn of events and um, it was definitely a bit more somber, which I kind of thought that was gonna happen. I, I figured most of the episodes in the order that they had gone, it would usually be like a funny one, a high action packed one with a lot of humor and then something really sad and somber. And then that trajectory would just kind of continue. I feel like this episode is probably going to be action packed and funny, if I would guess. I could be wrong, but I definitely hope that there's a lot of comedy in this one because that's what I love to see from these guys. For those of you who are massive Firefly fans or brown coats as you like to be called, I do post my full length reactions over on Patreon. I always link that in the description bar down below. If you are curious, you can go over there and check that out. I also post polls for people to vote and help me decide what I watch next on this channel. Full disclosure, my reactions are in a watch along style format, so you just need your own copy to watch along with me. All in all, I don't have that much to say. I'm just excited to jump on into it. So with that being said, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the series. Why is their house covered in aluminum foil? Is it being constructed? It looks like it's under construction. We ain't open for business. Shut up, Thor. Is she a companion? You don't get gone. We'll be well within our rights to drop you. The only rights you've got are the ones I give you. Who the f*** is this guy? This baby ain't yours. So you keep saying. What the f is he gonna do to her? My baby. We'll get help, that's how. Help? <gasps> There's not a soul on this moon go up against Rance Burgess. Do they know Morena? I bet they know Inara. And they're gonna call Inara for help. Got a distress call coming in, some folks asking for help. Really? Maybe I should take that right away. Well, it's for her. <gasps> yes, I knew it! I knew it! Huh? Is she not an official companion anymore? Is that what that means? The house sounds a little culty if they're telling telling her to shun people. If you agree to do this, you'll be compensated. I'll see to it. I've put a little aside. You can keep your money. Won't be needing no payment. Won't be needing no payment. What a good guy! But you will be paid. What a good guy. I feel it's important that we keep ours strictly a business arrangement. Why? Come on! You guys love each other! Don't well, much see the benefit in getting involved in strangers' troubles without an upfront price negotiated. Don't know these folks, don't much care to. They're whores. I'm in. <laughs> I thought he knew they were whores, now it makes a lot more sense why it was being so difficult. How come it looks like a frozen dinner pack? <laughs> Cheap power. That's what I said. Oh! Oh, the whores are prettier than the house. Well, that, well that's rude. Um, that's innovative of them, Jane. Smart. You really lie with someone being paid for it? No, it's not like anyone else is lining up to, you know, examine me. That was a hint. That was a hint! It was a hint for Simon! Watch, tell me I'm pretty. Were I unwed, I would take you in a manly fashion. Because I'm pretty? Because you're pretty. Cause you're pretty. She's gorgeous. Simon just doesn't know how to talk to you. Well, he'll be at the theater tonight. That's a certainty. And so will I. Anara, think you can stoop to being on my arm? Will you wash it first? <laughs> will you wash it first? So I told the boy, you take a clean woman's virtue. You take oh, jeez. And that's for life. Disgusting. 
And might I just say, she is quite a beauty. Well, thank you. Ever had occasion to handle one of these, Mr. Reynolds? She is a beauty. <laughs> she sure is. Of course, I was referring to the lady. Your wife. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. What a f jackass. Not referring to your gun, you chauvinistic pig. We run. Our weapon stores aren't exactly overpowering at the moment, and I don't know. Oh, it's because he saw the weapon. We load up Serenity, and we leave Burgess no. in the dust. She's not going to. She's not the type to run. Rance Burgess is just a man, yeah. and I won't let any man take what's mine. Well, lady, I must say, you're my kind of stupid. You're my kind of stupid. That should be on a shirt. You're my kind of stupid. That's a nice compliment. I'm fair handy with a hammer, Captain. I think I can do something about it. A hammer? Shep, you are just a jack of all trades. Good. I might want to scrounge you. Starting. Yeah, that it is, but time is on the enemy's side. Don't you tan? Oh, it's starting. Okay. River! Oh my god, River called it before. Holy sh! She's just read the baby's mind. Girl, you're insane. Man, of course she would give birth during a time like this. Like, how inconvenient. Now these are my favorites. Oh, he's you teaching them. There ain't no more to be had. I how shoot. She's, he's teaching her out, how to use the gun. You hand me the next biggest one and so on. Oh, oh, just had a... <laughs> oh, to hand them to... I get it. Oh my god, never mind. I thought he was, like, teaching her how to be empowered and, like, use a gun. But nope. Nope. No, I mean, when are you planning to avail yourself of some of our trade? Uh. My girls is clean and kind-spirited. Well, I got the... A job on my mind. He's got a Nara on his mind. He loves a Nara. You're not sly, are you? Because I got my boys. Sly, ah! I mean. sly means gay? That's funny. She's a hell of a woman. She knows. She? she knows. A Nara. She's like you more than a little. She hates complications. No. I just want them to admit that they love each other. They already kissed, but he doesn't know that they kissed. This turtle wants to be born. River, why are you staring at her like that? What do you think is in there? A baby, River. What is wrong with you? You are a remarkable woman. Well, as long as it's you saying it and not my fine rice wine. Don't flirt with him. No, I want him. I want him to get with an. Uh. Malcolm, if you kiss her, it's gonna complicate things. I'm always stepping my bounds. You let me know. Jenny, nice thing to fall. So, Malcolm, I've been waiting for you to kiss me since I showed you my guns. <sighs> that is the most of a close-up I've ever seen. That is a close-up. I feel kind of weird about... Oh, my God, the sweat. <laughs> that was a lot of sweat. I, f I still feel sad about it because I just love Anara and him, and I just... But I guess they don't... They're scared of getting together because it'll complicate things. I get it, but... This uh -oh. great man got a name? Reynolds. Uh-oh. Malcolm Reynolds. <gasps> this bitch! Mandy and those others, they spit on our town. Jesus. You have no respect for the sanctity of fatherhood. You have no respect for women, period. Let us all remember what a woman is to a man. Ugh. Oh, God. What is he going to do to this girl? Jesus Christ, girl. Why did you think that this was... Like, the right thing to do. Why did you think... This guy's the worst. I think I hate him more than Saffron and Niska combined. He's the worst. But Anara's gonna be right there, huh? Yep. Um, well, yep. I, I just yep. Had to so you took to bed with Nandy. I'm glad. Glad? Yes. One of the virtues of not being puritanical about sex is not feeling embarrassed afterwards. <laughs> I'm a little appalled at her taste. Good, good job, Anara. That was a great way to handle it. Just get a little dig in. I love her. She's great. Oh. I knew it was gonna hurt her. Oh. I just want them to admit they love each other already. What? Anara, I thought it was just him that... Oh, she feels bad. So they definitely filmed this out near... Joshua tree. I see a lot of Joshua trees. I guess it could have been like the Mojave or something. I'm really curious where they filmed this. You didn't give me the whole truth now. Ooh. About what? About her feelings for you. I really don't know. He, he's not aware of it. Oh, shit. Can you guys please talk about this after, though, so he knows? Please! Who's gonna die? Somebody's gonna die. Is Mandy gonna die? Copy that, Mal. We... we they raided their ship? Kaylee saves Wash's life. 
Oh my god! Oh crap, that's bad. That's real bad. You know, you're stampeding in like this for your baby, but you could be sh killing your baby. You got no idea where the where the pregnant woman is in this house. And if you kill her, you're killing her baby. So it's kind of careless of him to be stampeding in like this. That's it, pedaling. One more push. River looks creepy AF. I'm sorry. Like, River, you don't know what a child is? What if the baby gets shot? Like, this is what I'm seriously concerned about. There's just gun... Shots going off everywhere. Is he knocking him off with a hose? What the f kind of weapon is that? Oh, she's letting him in. This f whore. This is the only girl who's actually a whore. The only one. What are you hoping to accomplish? Like, you want to be put down? You want to be treated like scum from a chauvinistic, sexist prick? What's wrong with you? Why not stand with your with your fellow women? It's a boy. Healthy. Good morning, Pedaline. How's my boy? How do you know it's a boy? How do you know it's a boy? You don't know that from blood? <gasps> that is such a fake baby if I've ever seen one! Now that baby's real. It was fake for a second there. Now you hand that child over nice and slow, or I'll spill more than you can spare. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, god. <gasps> Oh, I called it. Oh, I called it. I knew she was gonna die. Malcolm, Malcolm, run. you gotta run after him, though. Oh, my God. Is he gonna run after this car? Oh, he's gonna take a horse. Yes. Yes! Check battery. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm sorry. What about the baby? You just let the car crash? You gotta pay for what you took. She was just a whore. Um, I'm sorry, Mal. Is the car still running? You bring my baby out right now. You hear me? Oh, wait. Oh, the girl got the baby back and he just ran away. I see. I thought he got the baby and ran away. Jonah, say oh, no. you dead. It is a boy. Okay. Nice. I mean, it sucks to have to kill somebody like that in cold blood, but he would never, ever stop. And he was horrible. You go with them. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why you would sell out your fellow women like that. It's not going to get you in any position of power. Those men don't respect women. So you're screwing yourself over. Oh, that's sad, man. I, I did think she was going to die, but it's still really sad. Ugh. People keep dying in these episodes. We meet one person, like the guest star of the episode, and then they keep dying. Like the last episode, Tracy died. I ain't looking for anything from you. Life's just too damn short for ifs and maybes. Please. Oh my God. Is something gonna happen? With that kind of strength, there's something I should have done a long <gasps> while ago. I'm leaving. Whoa, oh, shit. Can't. Uh, I understand that neither of them want to make things more complicated. Probably, especially Inara. She probably doesn't like doing that. But it's like just, you can't help who you love. Like, don't run away from it. It's okay. Ugh, it just makes me so sad. Well, dang it. Uh, <laughs> I guess I thought since the last episode was really sad and ended in tragedy that this episode would not end the same way, and it still ended really sadly and with somebody I liked dying. So, um, I guess this isn't as predictable <laughs> as I thought it was. I was getting cocky and confident and thinking that I could predict the pattern, but apparently not. So, this was a really heartfelt episode, and I just want Mal and Anara to be together, and I don't know if they will be by the end of the movie Serenity. Like, I don't know if I need that, but I would love for them to admit how they actually feel for each other and just like open up. This episode was so hard to watch because of that. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling a little bit down after watching this one particularly, but we only have one episode left and oh man, it's so bittersweet. I know I keep saying that, but it's true. I, Cause I just want to see what the last episode was and to see the movie round everything out. I don't want this all to end, you know, it's tough. And it, it, is, it is sad to see a show that I feel like was executed really fairly well um, and unique in terms of its style. Like you don't see a lot of space Westerns um, in general. You don't see that genre a lot. I mean, the writing of this is, is done really well. There's so much comedy. The pacing is done really well. The structure of each episode is great. 
the suspense is always there. There's always a lot of action. It's just so well done and um, really well executed as a show, I think. And it is definitely a bummer that they didn't really get the chance that they deserved. Yeah, I'm thinking back to like even the lighting in certain moments that the lighting and cinematography in some moments was executed pretty well too. It's just a, it was a strong show. So it's definitely a bummer that it didn't get a fair shot, but I'm glad that there's a movie that we can uh, enjoy together soon. But that is all I have for you guys in this video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and lets me know that you guys like this kind of content. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next. And subscribe if you want to. Until next time, stay golden. Bye.